Let's go. 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 I'm saving it for <laughs> um, later. Anyway, here we are at the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho. Obviously, Sally and Jane and myself and the Sorted Food Guys, who you may have seen recently we've done a collaboration with. Yes, we were on the Sorted Food channel last week or maybe the week before, and Gemma and I were judging the ultimate cupcake battle. You were t hard on them, actually. You were you tough. Are. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough battle. If you haven't watched it, then we will put links in the description box below. But make sure you watch this video first. Yeah, because the best part about this is that the cupcakes that we're creating here today in Soho, we're going to be selling them right here in the shop on Saturday, the 20th of November. That is this you better Saturday. Come. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so before we unleash your cupcakes onto the big wide world out there, we've had to put them through a little bit of C and D, R and D. Just yeah. a few little tweaks. Just some tweaks, guys. I think that was important. I thought they were. I thought they were perfect. Well, they were so close. Well, 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 <laughs> Your business is taking a considerable risk. <laughs> <laughs> That's really why we had to perfect them. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> perfect. But you know what? We brought them back to Jane, who is the bakery manager here mm. at Soho, and uh, literally nothing gets past them unless it is perfection. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That is Should we leave now? <laughs> yeah, just the door is there. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, we've got a small space upstairs, so um, we're each going to take one of you, because there's not room for all of us. Um, we're going to each take one of you, show you what we've done to the cakes to tweak um. them, and show you how to prepare them perfectly and make them look amazing and worthy of being in the Crumbs and Doily shop. So basically everything we didn't mm -hmm. do the first time. Kinda, yeah. yeah. Okay. Especially well, in your this case. Is like a full <laughs> narrative arc. <laughs> Cool, so Dane, we'll let you pick first. Okay, well, I'm going to choose Jamie because Ooh. he won last time and I only go with the oh, winners, so. What? <laughs> what? This is, this, is the, this is the opposite from school. <laughs> <laughs> you never pick first. It's like drag race. <laughs> <laughs> it's like drag race. It's like drag race. Well, luckily, I only work with losers, so I'm going to choose you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you work with us all the time. Right. Um, no, I think that we can we can pull this back. Well, look, yeah. look at oh, our. Yeah, we're like matching already. We're like Aww. a Dulux colour palette together. <laughs> so, you know, this is going to be a dream team. And uh, obviously, Barry and I are in some kind of band together. Yeah. <laughs> we're making black cupcakes, aren't we? We so, are. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. I didn't even think about yeah. that, but. Goth cakes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And also, you're the only one left, so that's. Cheers, bro. <laughs> right. So, without further ado, Barry, why don't you join me upstairs in our wee right. kitchen? Do it. See you later, guys. Bye. Oh, oh, Barry. Oh, okay. When, I bet you've never seen a worktop this neat before this is in your per This is a little bit career. disgustingly perfect. Well, yeah. Um, that's, how we, that's how we roll here. What's that? Well, that is the tiramisu, black on black tiramisu, <laughs> that your was your brainchild. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I'll, I'll take credit it's, for that. So, obviously matured and grown, it's, it's been through the puberty. It's got quite a lot of a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! I like Ooh. one one solid cube on top rather than lots of little ones. That's really... It's yeah. so much neater. Well, it's also a lot easier. <laughs> OK. Because I actually really liked your mm -hmm. jelly placement. It looked like sort of bejeweled. The, the jelly was the best bit. It was the fact that the cupcake didn't actually taste of what I said it was going to taste like. Well, yeah, let's talk about that because obviously we've had to, like, tweak uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the recipes that you guys gave and what we felt about your tiramisu cupcake was that one of the best bits about tiramisu is the coffee punch that you get. Yeah, it's the tiramisu bit, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah so pick, <laughs> the pick me up wasn't really there. Also the cream, the cream element. Okay. So what we've done is we've boosted the coffee flavour. So the espresso is in the sponge right. and we've got a filling there as well, which okay. is a Kahlua and espresso cream filling, or whipped cream. And we've also made our cream cheese icing using actual chocolate rather than cocoa. And then we've just Smart. made it black okay. with activated charcoal powder. Okay. Oh, and the masala jelly, we didn't touch that because it was really, really tasty. The yeah. only thing that we've done is we've put it on a little bed of black melted chocolate <gasps> because we found that when we put it directly on the cream cheese icing and sort of left it for an hour or two, it just kind of mm. weeped a little bit. So Smart. we've created a little bed. Lovely. Right. Now teach me. Okay. This, this is the bit now where I feel like sometimes I can get to this point with mm. a nice looking cupcake in front of me. And then I just let myself down with the final decorations and turning it into 
what you could sell here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all yours. I'm By the time you leave learn. this kitchen, you will be icing cakes like a pro. I mean, we've actually only got Play. this many it, cupcakes to play to with. Do not so screw up, okay. I'm gonna tell you, I'm just gonna give you all the tips. So when you came up, I noticed you eyeing up this little yeah, monkey. Yeah, that's a, like a, a, a dig, same sort of thing you use to like get um, fence posts into the ground, but a little <laughs> one for cakes. Yeah, or uh, otherwise known as an apple corer. <laughs> oh yes, what yeah, that's Yeah. Okay, so why don't you show me what you've got? Uh, nice, give it a little wiggle. There like you go. go. But look what you get. They're like little nuggets. Little, little droppings. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Like little, little, little cake droppings. Mm. And now, what are we going to fill it with? So we're going to do whipped cream with Kahlua and espresso. So I would like you to whip the cream. I'm a massive fan of whipping by hand. I don't know about you. Sure you are. Are you a machine whipper or a hand I'm whipper? I'm a machine whipper. You're just a machine. I'm just, no, the opposite. I'm a <laughs> machine whipper. I am not the machine. So we're going to add maybe like a tablespoon and a half of this espresso, which we've just brewed here. Some of this lovely Kahlua, oh. um, which is really sweet already. So we don't need to add any sugar to this filling because we don't want to like over sweeten it. Yeah, maybe, a, maybe a little bit more. Right. Soft. I think one more, two more. Okay, good. And when you're filling a cake, you want to go down to the bottom and, and draw it up. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean. So down to the bottom so you don't get any air pockets. And then when it gets to this point, pull away. Pull away. Okay, you don't want you. it to be too over the top. Otherwise, okay. when you put your icing on, it'll smush the icing. Okay. It'll smush the cream out of the way. Okay. So here you go. Easy. Lovely. Bottom. Don't forget oh, sorry, to! Sorry. <laughs> ah! Bad For goodness sake! You, oh, that's so an absolute... I would hold the top. Oh no, I just did the thing that you're not supposed to do. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. Right, this is the practice one. Oh, I screwed it. Okay, right, okay. It's okay, we'll fill it with icing. Nailed it. Um, right, what have we got now? Icing. So, yeah. thing to remember is and this is the, the first mistake everyone makes, yeah. is that you should always have your piping bag vertical like this. So I put it in the middle and I'm not going to move it anywhere for what? ages and then I'm going to move it. What? You see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Uh, I'm going to screw it up. <laughs> Do you want me to show time? you again? Yeah, please. So you just really commit at the beginning. Then yeah. Go to the point where you think you've almost lost it and then twist. Yeah. So I panic. Really there. get in the zone. But keep your finger on it there. Yeah, but don't forget it's coming out that Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> It's a logistical nightmare. But one hand or two hands, does it matter? Whichever works, works for so, you. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now swirl. Oh, yeah. see, that was a really good first attempt. Okay, overcommitted. I, I'd say you undercommitted. Undercommitted? Yeah. When you start swirling, you need to re really be confident. Do the last two, just so I can watch it again. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm not going in, and now I'm pulling it up at the same time. Ah. So, okay, got one shot of it now. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now travel. <gasps> That's the best one! Right, um, we're there, we're there, we're there. Oh my god, we're so close to the oh. finish line. So, we now have to make it sprinkly, mm -hmm. best thing to do is to sprinkle them from up high. Yeah, because most people what they do is they go yeah, like this, but then they just all land in the same place. Okay. So let's give that a go. Lovely. Lovely, yeah. See? Even, even spreadage. Oh. My boy's graduating cupcake school and I'm so oh. proud. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've just got one more thing. Chocolate dollop and... Yeah, this is going to literally be a little blob just a bit of glue. on all of them, just, just like that. Doesn't have to be fancy. And then, release some cubes. Find its most attractive side. Plonk it in. Not, that one's a little bit drunk. It's had too much masala. <laughs> you do okay. the little blobs and I'll cut some more jelly up for gotcha. you. Very nice. Okay. Nice blobbing, Barry. Thank you very much. Yes. Nice. You're right, the chocolate is so important because you can just rest it on top. And also, when they when the chocolate firms up, you can literally remove that whole bit of jelly mm. and it's like a bit of chocolate covered jelly and it's really nice. <gasps> um, yeah, we've, 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 we've reached a whole new level. These are, com these are out of this world compared to my originals. Oh, 
Thanks, thank, Barry. Thank you so much for that. I mean, we had a really solid foundation to start with, you know? You see? Good. A really great concept. The black cool. and black tiramisu just needed to be elevated, as they say on telly. And I'm very thankful for it because they are now proper cupcakes. They are proper cupcakes. These what? are definitely were and that jelly. And There's so much leftover jelly. This is brilliant. How boozy are these? They're pretty boozy. It's basically okay. booze and jelly. <laughs> right, so Barry's gonna wash his hands mm. and we're gonna take these downstairs. Thank you very much. Let's go, off you. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, squeeze. Well, they fit in nicely. They do, don't they? I think you've done such a lovely job. Thank you. Sir. Well done, Barry. Stop it! <laughs> Sally and Mike, it's your turn. Well, welcome to the Crumbs and Jolie's kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. I just want to say, like, how perfectly crumbs and doilies is Mike right now. Like, look, he mixes, he mixes, he matches the mixer. I read the brief. He can stay. I definitely <laughs> Right, well this is your crumbs and doilies oh, aside. Oh, look at that. Cake. You mean my tasty bit of plagiarism? Yes, yes. Which gets me on to the point of what we did to kind of tweak your cupcake, which wasn't that much, because like you said, you did use all of our recipes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is like equal quantities of cinnamon and nutmeg, and it is absolutely beautiful. So we honestly haven't even touched your cupcake recipe. We have left it the same, because we thought it was awesome. So that's the sponge. The icing, again, like we kept it the same, because we love the ginger. Um, and then we've kept the cornflake caramel topping. Obviously, we've got the nuts in there. We know it's a winner. You've basically taken it from us anyway, so we are happy to keep that. We've got the biscuit on top. So the only thing we have really done is we've just added a little crumbs and doilies element, which is a caramel filling. So we have made oh, some cool. ginger caramel. So we're gonna put that basically all the way through the cupcake and the icing. So you have this like caramel core going all the way through. So what we need to do first is cut some holes in these so that we can fill them. Cool. We use an apple corer. Oh, High nice. High tech tools going nice, on over great. here. It comes to doilies. Love so that. So just like halfway through, wiggle it down. You don't want to go, that's like the least good example. That's not in the middle, is it? I feel like you purposely <laughs> gnaws that up to make me feel better about yes, my attempts. Because yours are going to be beautiful. No. So yeah, not all the way through and we'll poop them into there. So great. Okay. I'm just going to stand here. And How, um, so you could. So you give it a little wiggle. Yep, down. There we go. Fill it up. Ta-da! Oh, look at that. Cool, cool. hole's okay. done. So next is filling time. So we've got it in this little squeezy bottle and you just want to fill it up. The only thing you want to watch out for is that it doesn't overflow because you want to ice on top of it. So okay. just like that. And this is delicious. This is going to kind of ooze a little bit into the sponge, make it really nice and moist. Can I ask this caramel, yeah. so it tastes so like the right side of burnt. Do you yes. know what I mean? Like, so delicious and <sighs> You've got to be daring with it. I, you wasn't, know? Da I wasn't that daring. Yeah, you've got to kind of like take it to the point where it's about to burn and it starts to smell like it's burnt and okay. you think, uh, uh but that is how you get that perfect caramel because otherwise it's too sweet, it's too runny. Um, yeah, it infuriates me when people don't take caramel. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I always bottle it a little bit too soon. Yeah. How do, how do you know you've got to the right stage? Is well, it just experience? Oh, I mean, there's many different types of caramel. This is a different oh. caramel to this. I've you've opened got a nice, Pandora's box. You really have. And I feel like the audience will be like, yeah, Sally, we've heard it all before. There's a caramel masterclass. Why don't you go and watch that? Oh, I'm surprised right. so, you haven't. Uh, that is true. <laughs> like, that's just, oh dear. So this is the cream cheese with the ginger and the vanilla. And we always give it a little mix before we pipe it because it gets all like airy and you don't want little farts. Yeah, it, that, <laughs> that is <laughs> Icing farts and everything very farts. different consistency to mine. Yeah, but you did a really good job because you said, you know, add a little bit of sugar, keep whipping it. And that is the rule. Mm. That is how you get fluffy icing is by whipping <sighs> the hell out of it. Okay, so I just needed to whip it more, didn't I? You just I? needed to whip it more. And now we're going to ice it. So we've got our piping nozzle here. We're going to go for a round nozzle. Because cream cheese okay. is actually pretty hard to do in a star nozzle because it's quite loose. It doesn't hold, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to do a really big squeeze and blob. Keep squeezing, and then you just whip it off at the top. Oh, you, 
just whip it off at the top. Just whip it off like at the top. an understatement. Okay, the next tip is to like have, you want the space basically between the nozzle and the cupcake for the icing to come out. If you have it really low down, it's just going to kind of oh, do okay. that. Okay. So you can see how it's about like a couple of centimetres up, so yep. that you've got that space, and then whip it off at the end like that. Okay. Okay. Have a go. Let's What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I look like an absolute dick on your YouTube channel. Hey, That's the worst. Am never. I never. Okay, so there. Nice, yeah. Squeeze, 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 keep squeezing. And then lift and sweat. Ah! Oh. I yeah. think that was pretty good. Practice makes perfect. Practice doesn't make perfect. Okay, squeeze. so nice. High. Yeah. And whoop. Nice. Be gentle with the butter. Squeeze. Tray. Take your time. It doesn't Take matter. Your time. And then oh, stop yes. it. Come on, come on, come on. Come yes, on, yes, come yes, on. Yes. Stop. Yes! Mm. I knew I picked the right guy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> they look wicked. Okay, now to cover up all the imperfections as Thank James said. Thank for that, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. So we are going to add some more caramel. Okay. So we've not just got caramel in the sponge, we're going to put caramel in the icing. So, why yeah, why not? Why not? I'll do it, I'll do it on this one. So we're just going to pop the nozzle in and you want to oh, squeeze wow. as you come out just like that. This is awesome. Pretty cool isn't yeah, it? This is great. Um, I'm just going to actually get some, we might want to. Just going to get a fresh batch of <laughs> iced cupcakes that look good. <laughs> there we go, right. I'm just going to leave okay. it with you, yeah. Sure. It's quite hard to squeeze isn't it? That's it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh god, that is bursting. Yeah. Wow, yeah, okay. but caramel makes everything look good. Drizzle something with caramel and you're onto a winner. Beautiful. Okay, got it, got it. What time are you coming in on the Saturday the 20th then? 4 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of cupcakes to make for it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Cool. So you can't really see what we just did there. It's all inside the icing, but it's amazing. So next, we've got your biscuits. You've got the exact same ones. Yeah, because... You really liked them. I did like them. And I suggested like, why don't you like crush them up a bit? And you were like, no, I want to put a whole cookie on. So, who am I to tell you not to do well, that? Well, no, you're the bloody expert, so you but have to tell me expert. what to do. I am. So, we're just going to pop him in like so. So, he's standing up. So, that's nice and easy. And then I'm just going to lean across and get this. So. I'll help you. Thanks. Cute. Okay, so this is the caramel cornflake nuttiness. I quite like the nuts in it. Yeah. You know, it just adds something a little bit different. And we were going to cut these into nice little cubes, but we actually thought it just looks kind of cooler to just have a nice oh, good. splodge on the front. So that's what we're going to do. I think they are amazing and I'm really sad that we're not allowed to eat one because apparently Gemma and Barry didn't eat one so but they're, uh, we're, what, so we're we're being held back from their yeah, erroneous yeah, mistake but I think we should I'm going to make you a little <laughs> <laughs> what are offcuts oh, okay. for if it's not Great. for this so this this is ab it's not yeah it's not going to work how about we put it on there that's the base oh nice oh, let gonna, me Oh my gosh, do you know what we should do? We should just put 12 of them on the tray and take them take downstairs. Them down. <laughs> okay, let's do it. This is what inspiration looks like. Right, ready? Yeah. I feel yeah. like you need to lead with those. They're okay. gonna fall over, so be careful. And I will just, I'll just hang back. You can listen to the wow and the awes. Yeah, okay, here we go. Ready, guys? Just kidding! Ah. You got pranked! You've been pranked! Oh. <laughs> wow. You got served. A we just made cupcake. you a delicious treat, actually. Because we're so anti food waste, there was offcuts of everything. So. There Does you he go. do this all the time? You're welcome, planet. Yeah, Does he make yeah. you eat out of the bin? Yeah. <laughs> Right, I think we did really well. Cheers. Cheers, and thank you for the masterclass. Is it going to go all in one? Yeah. Oh, wow. We look so sexy.
Stein! Wir ruttern! <lacht> Jamie, are we ready? I am so excited. Good, because we've got all the elements here and I'm going to teach you how to ice like a pro. Mm -hmm. um, although I think you did quite well anyway. -ish. Did I? Uh, maybe I'm being too generous. I don't know. You guys can judge. But <laughs> they'll end up looking like this one and that's what we're going to sell because nothing, as Sally said, nothing gets past me up here. So you're in my domain now. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That intimidates me. Like no. the perfection and the finesse yeah. of that massively intimidates me. My big thing has always been, I can do flavours. Yeah. I can't do finishing. Yes, and present presentation. Presentation okay. is not my strong point. Well, I'm going to get you there. All I've right. only got like, not very long, but we can get you there. I mean, I've been trying for like 11 and a half years. Oh, so okay. I'm sure this will be it. This will be the moment it all clicks. Okay, well, we're going to pop, lock and roll <laughs> out of here as winners. So... <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit reserved, but I mean, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it, okay. So the first thing, let's talk about the sponge. Mm -hmm. You made like a cornbread kind of sponge. It was amazing flavor wise, but it was a little bit too dense and heavy for our kind of cupcakes that we yep. do. They're a bit more light and fluffy. So we lightened it up a little bit. We used kind of just cornmeal and those fresh herbs as well. We've got the rosemary and the thyme and they smell amazing. Um, and it's kind of a savoury cupcake, this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice balance between that savoury and sweet. It kind of, yeah. in a confusing but delightful way. Yes, no, and I love it. It's almost yeah. like Christmas dinnery. Yes, which, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I actually put to the team a couple of years ago and I wanted to make happen in the shop. A Christmas dinner cupcake. Basically this, but it didn't get this far, so I'm very happy today that we Sometimes we're doing. it just needs, you know, that spark to come. <laughs> Exactly. Sometimes people don't know what they're missing until they, they get it. They get it, yeah. yeah. And they're going to get it next Saturday. They're going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the sponge. That's delicious. Next with the icing, Swiss meringue, one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. Nice choice. Um, we've got the spices in there. So we've got pumpkin spice, kind of spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves. And this was absolutely delicious. Perfection. We didn't need to change it. Then toppings. We've got two different toppings, the granola which is absolutely ace, it's walnut and fennel. And I love the way you made this because I've never seen granola being made with egg whites before. So the egg white just helped it all stick together and clump a little bit more. Nice. Um, so we've got that there, a nice crunch. We've got loads of different textures going on as well. We've got kind of the fluffy light sponge, we've got the smooth icing, the crunch, and then we've got some bacon. One of my favorites. I lit, you know what, I have bacon every day. Every day? Every day, <laughs> two rashers, like the thick cut bacon, smoked, Eggs, waffles, avocado. If you don't know, I love ketchup as well. Are you I a ketchup think we fan? could become best friends. <laughs> but I think you just did regular bacon, right? Just cooked yes. it on the hob. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, here at Crumbs and Doilies, obviously everything is sweet, so we need to sweeten it up a little bit. So we candied it with some brown sugar. Amazing. Yeah, literally just rubbed it with some brown sugar and then laid it out on a tray, popped it in the oven for like 10 minutes, turned it over, and back in for like another five minutes. Incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. So, I think this is the time we get to icing and I get to teaching you a little bit about how to make it look like this. Yeah, I need some help with that bit. Okay, yeah. fab. I'm gonna get you to hold the piping bag and I'll fill it up because I'm gonna get you to go first without <laughs> me showing you any examples. Because yeah, I just wanna see firsthand how you do. Uh, right, I think I'm gonna start in the middle. That is pretty good. Do you know what? <laughs> Sam is very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not upset about that. No, I'm not mad about that. You, I think you did very well. Very, very well. This is what happens when you concentrate. I know, yeah. I get it. Isn't now. it amazing? Yeah. Let's see. It's tiring though, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's exhausting. But we've got all these to do. So let me just see you do one more and okay. then I'll do one. Right, beginner's luck. That Beginner, was. yeah, you know, that might this, this, next, this next one's going to be very, yeah. <laughs> the bag over and I'll show you. <laughs> okay. Watch also, the we, master at work. We twist different ways the piping bag. I oh, okay. It that uh, left handed, that's why. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So like you were doing, always yep. vertical. I keep it kind of a half a centimeter from the top and then you always want to start in the middle, kind of get that pressure. 
And really minimal movement. I didn't even... I was going to say, you, hot, you didn't go around. You just let it... Yeah. Right. It's kind of all in the wrist. All in the wrist. Right. Yeah. Uh, Should yeah. I do one more? Yeah, one, one more. Okay. Yeah. So like, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm kind of going a little bit round. So you don't want the little pokey pointy bit? Because uh, we're not the, creating in, ice gems here, so. <laughs> in the no. original video, I did quite a big pointy bit. Oh. Yeah, and it, it, it maintained its sturdiness. Yeah. Actually, it was quite pointy for a long time. Testament to the icing. Exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. I think it's just my style. <laughs> it's just your style. We're yeah. going to go with it. Look, listen, as long as they all look consistent, which these don't right now, but <laughs> as long as they all look the same, I think it's passable. <laughs> Wicket, finishing on a high. That's what we call that. <laughs> well, well, yeah. It wouldn't be me if I didn't leave it looking, you know. Erect with the icing. You said it, not me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So now all that's left is to finish them with the toppings. Okay. If you do the bacon, I'll do the granola. Yep. So the bacon, um, you kind of just want to put one piece just at the back. Um, and then the granola, I'm going to kind of leave it as clusters. You don't want to kind of break it up too much. Um, but just like that, a little cluster on the front and nice and kind of neat and together. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah, if you go with the bacon, I'll go with the granola. Wicked. And also, you know and I know because we're both winners here. This was the winning cupcake in the competition so far, so do you think we can sustain this? I, That's my question. <laughs> I see no reason why not. Exactly. Exactly. It's a winner. Like it's, it's a winner. It's coming close to Christmas, everyone wants a Christmas dinner, and everyone wants something a bit sweeter in life, so exactly. this is the one. Are you carrying or am I? Good. Yep. Yeah, Good okay, choice. I'll carry them. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all standing in a line waiting for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you are. So winners are here. Your wish is, is our command. <laughs> they actually Jamie. look really good. What they do look you mean really actually? Well, Ten of them. you know, they're it's with me. Great. He's with me. <laughs> Hang <laughs> on a minute, true. I just, true. can we just clarify, you did these? Yes. Okay. I only I select three of them. I don't, well I mean that is <laughs> impressive. From where you began. Yeah. Which is the gutter, let's be honest. <laughs> he, won, he, won, he, won, he, won, he won the battle. All right, cheers. He won yeah. the battle Yeah, the but gutter. we weren't voting on looks, so. But anyway, you've come a long way. You've all come a long way. Thank you, Jeremy. I think you've done really well. Um, the, the cakes look amazing, and you know, you, you guys gave us the inspiration. We just we just elevated it all. So this is all your hard work, really. In some yeah. situations, <laughs> you gave us the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Well. Yes. laughs> well, you know, thank you so much for coming, and don't forget you guys can actually get your hands on, not these very cupcakes, because by that time they'll be a few days old, but on Saturday, <laughs> this coming Saturday the 20th, we're gonna be making these cupcakes and filling the shop with them and you will be able to get your hands on them. Sally, Dane and I will be there to say hi to you as well. Maybe, just maybe, Ooh. some or all of these wonderful gentlemen may join us. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> And if you're a little bit confused and thinking like, what the hell is this whole video even about? Then make sure you head over to the Sorted Food channel to check out the ultimate cupcake ba uh, battle where these guys invented these cupcake flavors and Gemma and I judged them. We've also got the pass it on that went oh, yeah. a few days oh, ago. No. Um, Sorry. Give that one, don't watch that one. It's really good. Don't watch that one. It's pretty funny. And Gemma, Dane and I have invented the best trifle since then yeah. to redeem <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Everyone needs a solid trifle, not literally a solid trifle. <laughs> <laughs> Just a good trifle recipe. <laughs> Nobody wants to do a solid trifle. <laughs> yeah. Dane, do you think oh. these cakes pass mustard? I think so. I mean, I do see one of the icings drooping on the back here. <gasps> oh! Sally! 
<laughs> Must have been yours. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna pra these guys are gonna practice, and do nothing but practice their icing between now and the next time they make cupcakes, and we will be making the cupcakes <laughs> in store, so they'll all be perfect. They yeah. will be perfect. Um, they'll be amazing. We'll also have loads of our cookies, so come on down. It's gonna be super fun. And one last thing, we really wanna show you guys a full on recipe video for one of these cupcakes. So what we want you to do is reply to our comment in the comments box below and tell us which one you want. The winning one will make a recipe video very, very soon. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. coming. Shall we, can we eat some cupcakes? Like yeah. yeah. Okay, who wants what? Well, oh. we want ours, right? Yeah. I want to eat my own as well. Boss. I don't want to eat theirs. No, um, I want <laughs> one of the ones that's a cupcake, not a bacon sandwich. Oh. I'm going to have a bacon sandwich. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, let's get rid of these Thank ones because they're the ugliest. Oh. 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 But the tastiest. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers. 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 Down the one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Mm. Hey, look at that. All over my face. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Delicious. There's literally no competition there. Right. Oh, my God. You haven't, <laughs> tried, you haven't tried this one. Oh, look in there. And I never will. You have a look at it. We've got. Oh, oh, oh my this is really good. Good. We've got bacon on top, so yeah. if you eat all of yours. I had to stop Dane putting ketchup on it. <laughs> yeah, I love ketchup. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs>